If you're looking for the best metal guitars, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have ESP Limited EC 1000 VA. With Fishman's Modern Fluence Humbuckers, ESP Slash Limited's flagship single cut can perform metal of all eras. The switching is all very state of the art, with push slash pull call split for single call tones and enough firepower to add serious weight to your riffs. The two nomadic bridge offers a fuss free performance, plenty of sustain, and a solid platform for your punishing right hand attack, but we wouldn't want you to think of this only for rhythm. The thin new neck is an exceptional profile for lightning leads, with the extra jumbo frets and 13.8 radius offering an easy ride up to the top end of the fretboard where you'll find a neatly sculpted heel. Oh, and the finish is incredible. It's called Violet Andromeda and looks different depending on how the light hits it. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Ibanez standard RGE Fortwo FM. Ibanez's RG series was launched in 1987 and with sharp horns, thoughtful body contouring, and being a testing ground for the Super Svelte Wizard neck profiles, it fast cemented itself as one of the world's favorite S styles. You can find the RG at all prices, but the stripped down model is very financially accessible. It has a speedy Wizard Roman 3 maple neck, measuring just 19 thick at the first fret and only 21 at the 12th. Okay, it doesn't have a Floyd Rose Tremolo, the hard L format is a good stable platform ideal for aspiring shredders who don't yet want to worry about spending time adjusting their bridge. The five-way blade selector offers a wide sweep of humbucker and split call tones. The number three position is held by Jackson Pro Series Dinky DK2 Ash. Unveiled at NAMM 2020, this DK2 is on trend for some blasted finishes on Swamp Ash bodies, with its green glow making it look like it was specced for Alec Holland or the Toxic Avenger. The Dinky is a perennial goater for metal. Its body shape came over from Charvel in the early 90s. Smaller and lighter, it fast became a favorite with shredders and anyone looking for a high-performance super strat, and they don't come any more high-performance than this. Advertisement. Everything about it is geared for speed. The neck has a hand-rubbed satin finish, and the 1216 compound radius ebony fingerboard is ideal for riffing down low or woodshedding up top. This will handle a wide variety of metal styles, with a classic pairing of direct-mounted Seymour Duncan JB and 59 humbuckers in the bridge and neck positions, respectively. The five-way switching allows some split single call tones, while the Floyd Rose 1000 series double-locking tremolo will happily accommodate your whammy bar acrobatics. Next at number 4 we have Fender Jim Root Jazzmaster V4. Jim Root has always liked to take a classic Fender design and gear it up for war. What he has done with his new Jazzmaster is like taking an old station wagon and fitting a surface-to-air missile launcher on the hood. Here we're dealing with a non-traditional and heavy-weighted mahogany body. The controls have been pared down to the essentials, including a three-way blade switch choosing between his active EMG Demon and pickups or both with only a master volume and no tone. The result is a guitar that is Jazzmaster in profile only, a retro-profiled offset with a voice that has a more solid low end, with bright mids and highs that really begin to sing once the gain is past 2 o'clock. The number 5 position is held by Epiphone Prophecy Flying V. Epiphone's Prophecy range of guitars drags classic designs kicking and screaming into the 21st century and scream they do. The Prophecy Flying V is, simply put, a total monster. Specs-wise, it's overflowing with high-end accoutrements from the asymmetrical neck profile to the sophisticated Fishman Fluence custom-voiced humbuckers. You'll notice the push-pull volume and tone pots don't have the standard call-split function of most other guitars. That's thanks to the Fluence humbuckers being just that bit cleverer than most, toggling between a high-output modern humbucker and a classic burstbucker slash PAF style voicing. In terms of metal, this guitar can cover virtually any style you can throw at it and it can do cleans, too. To be fair, we'd have liked the option of a Prophecy model with a pair of passive humbuckers like Epiphone has done with past models, but we really can't complain. You get a lot for your money with this Flying V. The number 6 position is dominated by Jackson X Series Rhodes RRX24. 
There have been countless versions of Jackson's Uber Pointy Randy Rhodes V over the years, but this X-Series Rhodes new for 2020 might just skewer the Dragon in terms of value and on message style. It's black on black with a reverse 6 in line headstock for added metal points. You could pay $30 odd bucks more and get one with neon pink or neon green bevels if you need some color. It's a super aggressive silhouette but has been around long enough to be a classic. But the key here is its playability, not great while seated or some standing up. It is typically shreddable with the dual active pickups from Seymour Duncan providing a super hot performance that will deliver the goods big style. And there's a Floyd, moving on to the next at number 7 with Schecter Omenate. Once upon a time it would cost you the GTP of a G8 country to be able to afford an 8-string electric, and here we are in 2020 and you'll get some change out of $500. Schecter has really taken to the extended range market, and while you won't mistake the Omenate for one of their high-end models it is a hell of a lot of guitar for the price. The neck is welcoming. With a set of high ratio 15, one check to tuners, the Omen 8 is pretty darn stable. The weight feels okay too, and the build quality and finish is what you might expect from Schecter. While you might want active pickups on an 8 string, just to keep the hum down while turning string vibration into a bus or these overwound passive humbuckers, kind of reminiscent of the underrated EMG HC, have heaps of gnarly output. The number 8 position is held by Charval Pro Marjo Duplantia Sandimas Style 2. The evolution of the Gajira Riffmaster's signature Sandimas Style 2 continues apace, and this one, unveiled at NAM 2020, is the classiest looking yet. The black guard is nice, too, especially if you have mostered on over here from using a 50s Telecaster and want to tune down and bang some heads. The playability is incredible. Charvel is the original Hartrader, and the 1216 fingerboard radius across its 2020 models is supremely comfortable for fretting chords and sweeping up arpeggios alike. There is a Charvel speed shape profile that's joined to the body with a four-bolt heel. But it's the pickups that have got us really sold on this. Oh. Duplantier's signature Dimarzio is the hotter of the two, perfect for articulating down-tuned riffs that are saturated in gain, while the PAF 36th anniversary shoots for the holy grail of 59 less poor tones. Next at number 9 we have EVH Wolfgang Standard. If you are looking for one of the best affordable metal guitars and want to avoid anything too necro and pointed, then the updated EVH Wolfgang Standard series is a pretty safe bet. It can cover a variety of styles, but of course, with Mr. Van Halen's initials on the headstock you can be sure it plays nice and quick. Here we've got a base wood body and a bolt-on roasted maple neck, an Envogue 1216 compound radius fingerboard, and ultimately there is something ergonomically slight and welcoming about the Wolfgang that makes it hard to put down. It has an EVH-branded Floyd Rose special double-locking tremolo for hitting harmonics and dive-bombing them, and two moderately hot Wolfgang humbuckers that should stand the topsy-turvy world of metal. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Dean ML Dymo Flash. With an urban combo and Dimebag silhouette finish, its almost star-shaped profile and V-shaped headstock, the Dymo Flash edition of Dean's classic ML model is not for the faint-hearted. It was created for the same sort of bustle tones that its most famous patron used to deal in. With a high output passive Seymour Duncan Dimebucker in the bridge, the ML Dymo Flage is a seriously aggressive guitar, but it can do more classic metal and hard rock tones, too, so when Friday night comes and you want to jump some Van Halen and KISS covers this will have your back. The Floyd Rose Special will be essential if you want to emulate Dimebeck's harmonic squeals, but so too the set neck construction, which gives the ML a very respectable sustain. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.